Now we'll get started. Uh, what's this? How does Flashy start it again? Shit. Uh, oh, oh, surely you have to do it. Come on, whatever. he starts with a groan and he's like, uh, this uh, is. Uh, alright, this is the flock card. Alright, well, uh. Flock, uh <laughs> Um, uh, uh, um, um, uh, we've got the, um, 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 uh, shit. um, uh, um, um, and then he shit, just cut all shit together. bumper from, from Richmond, <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, yeah. uh, the uh, end. All right, this is the flog cast for round 18, I believe. I don't give a shit. Uh, hosting is, well, Cookie, your new mod, uh, joining us. <laughs> and Jackie. You just introduced yourself as the new mod. That's <laughs> worse than Starburn going, I'm 43rd in the tipping competition. Oh, the new mod. And this is the my new mod. mod. This is uh, a very me. Patrick Dangerfield of you. And if, if you piss it off, mod. I can stand you. I never said I'm creative. The new mod. <laughs> <laughs> and joining me is uh, a man who needs no introduction with Dan. Oh, thank you, new mod Cookson. Yes, it's very nice to be here. Uh, our new Gold Coast supporting member, Morgan Ashley. I'm not the new mod, but we are the sons <laughs> of the Gold Coast guy. Also joining us is something we could all use, a bit of brain power. I, for one, welcome our new mod <laughs> Cookson overlords. <laughs> and joining us for the first time ever, we have Legrill. <laughs> Bay Footy's very own barbecue. G'day guys, it's an honour and a privilege to be here. Did I just say that as Bay Footy? I think yeah, whatever. Yeah. Doesn't matter. If you fucked it up, it becomes more like st- Starburns. Yeah, uh, there, there wasn't enough wasn't enough umming and ahhing in there for my liking. Oh, and oh, oh I forgot. Um, we also have Jesse White the cat here. Inside ruined, but use French instructions. <laughs> What the hell is that? Oh, I don't know. We'll start off our customary goo or tears, and he wants to go first. <clears throat> I got goo. I got goo for winning. Winning is great, even if you have to fly two hours and suffer through torrential rain. Winning is the best. It doesn't matter how ugly it was. When you get four points, it's great. I think you're the only one who could say that this week, anyway. Hmm. Well, <laughs> losers. You're all a bunch of losers. Anyway, he wants to go next. Even though, even though I've got three teams, only one of them won. Most weeks, none of them win. Yeah, one out of three is shit. Shut up. <laughs> one out of three ain't bad. No, it's two out of three. Oh, no fucking shit, Dan. Why don't you just be more of a fun sponge? <laughs> Sucking the life out of everything. Well, who's going to sing along to one out of three? I mean... Oh, well, it's better than none out of three, isn't it? Which is usually is. Got to make uh, the best I... of that situation. Yeah. Um, I, I have goo for for losing. <laughs> losing, is, losing is great. And if you're a North Melbourne supporter, you want to finish dead last so we can get the first pick in the draft. Oh, you're such it's, a defeatist it's, club. It's, tank, it's tanking, but you know what? Fuck it. Who cares? We uh, we have never been in a drafting position like this um, for a long time. So tank, tank to your heart's content and do it with pride. No, you shouldn't be yeah. going to the number one draft pick. You should be going for that bottom rung so you get the easier draw. That's better. Tanking, well, but not overtly it? tanking. Not overtly it's not tanking. Really ta- just, well, it's not really tanking the, but- if you... Finish in the bottom few teams so that your draw isn't so fucking bad next year. Unless you're Collingwood and you finish in the bottom six and still get fucked by the draw. You know what's going to happen? We've had, this, we've had this discussion about Collingwood and their draw. Their draw doesn't change. You, could you know finish what's going to happen, Dad? Finish on top. What's going to happen? Tell us, the grill. What's going to happen? lottery this year. No. No. No, mm-hmm. do it next year. Next year. <laughs> No, it says, yeah, that'd be real typical. North, uh, finish, North finish on the bottom and they bring in the lottery. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. No, that's shit. Don't do that. <laughs> it is shit. Yes, talk, you're right. Talk about getting unlucky. Wow. Uh, unlucky. Uh, unlucky North. 
Well, I think we were very unlucky on the weekend with uh, Todd Goldstein's performance, but that's something else. Yeah. Oh, yes. what? Did he have another stinker? Uh, yeah. If, if he's not the biggest piece of trade bait you've got, I'm fucking Chinese. Get but he's playing himself out of it, though. That's the problem. So he, he's he's devaluing himself, like Correct. Jason Johannesson. At least maybe <laughs> that means you'll have to keep him. That's fucking shit. Bring in Proust. That's what I say. He's injured. Why? What do he do? I don't know, but the word is he won't play again this season. Oh, well, that's going to really upset Jimmy's path. It's it's a long-term problem having those two in the in the team. Well, um, it's, yeah, you can't have two in the same team. That's what we ha- what happened with Wits and Grundy, and then we had to fuck Grundy off. Oh, Wits off, sorry. If it was up to me, we would have fucked Grundy off. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, it's always been the case with Goldstein, right? They got rid of Hamish McIntosh. Yeah, okay, it was, it was crocked at the time, but... Just can't you play got, too you much with him. David Hale, three-time Premiership superstar. <laughs> oh fuck off! Hey, he was a uh, decent role player. Yeah, and all you can do is, you know, give us, you know, Jonathan Hay and <laughs> fucking, <laughs> what's, it, what's his face, Jed Anderson, Lance, Thanks, Lance Pachoni, Lance Pachoni. Hey, 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 Dan, what do you what do you think of uh, Jonathan Hay? Come sad. on, sad, sad. I can't use sad. the word. Come on, he's sad as fuck. I mean, you can't use the F word. <laughs> well, I can't. Well, not not in that not not in that context. I can't. You I, said I, it I regret, the first time. I, I know, and I regret saying it. Anyway, who's got more anyway, good I ideas? There's no such thing well, as a topic here. I'll go with my tears. Um, what do the following cities have in common with Perth? St. Louis, St. Pedro Sula, Kiev, Grozny, Karachi, Manila, Naples. Raqqa, Caracas, and Mogadishu. All oh, of the, shit. Yeah, well, all of these cities appear in the world's most dangerous cities list compiled by the sun alongside Perth. So Perth, the meth capital of the world, has um, risen to pretty lofty ranks. It's even oh. worse than Johannesburg. So they, yeah. they had a mining boom and then they had an ice boom. Who the fuck it? When you have all this money and not nothing to fucking do because you're in the other side of the world. Well, all you... these uh, cashed up bogans. Cashed up bogans. My fucking neighbours. <laughs> tell you what they're going to do. They're going to get on the glass barbecue and enjoy themselves for four days straight. So it, this, yeah, well... gives you more, this gives you more incentive to leave, Penal. <laughs> it does. Well, not like I need it anymore, but... It's know, just that no one will take him, the poor bastard. <laughs> no, I mean, they'll, Canada's, they'll, Canada's they'll, like, no, Canada. fuck off. They'll... They'll, they'll let me into New Zealand and anywhere in Europe. It's just, you might as well uh, stay in Perth if you're going to New Zealand. Jesus. <laughs> you could take Starburns and they'll put him in, like, the <laughs> Hobbit Museum or something. <laughs> but, I mean, like, I mean, okay, I, looking at the list, it looks like they're trying to do it by regions sort of loosely based on continents. But surely, like, you know... Yeah, so the, the worst city in it, this region is Perth, which, so anywhere in New Zealand would be an upgrade. Yep, PNG, go for gold, you know? But I mean, I can't see the song on the Islands being much in the way of good times, but I mean... Did Frankston get a mention? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, and there, there, there must have been a minimum population uh, quota, or else but Geelong would have been a shoe in. Dan, you know? No mention of Werribee makes me disappointed. Lifty game, scumbags. <laughs> What's great? After they already stole something last year. <laughs> oh, Cookie, your butt hurts coming out. It's an obvious joke. I had to make it. Hmm? Excuse me, James. Shush. Don't dob me in. Feel free to chip in, and Al, I don't care. Nah, I'll, I'll not just come in with special comments now and then. <laughs> not a sustained role. Well, maybe I'll just put you on mute when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll, I'll I'll have goo for um the food and wine show yesterday, which I went to. So someone invited okay. me yesterday to go to the uh, derby, and okay. someone also invited me to go to the food and wine show. And thankfully, I chose the uh, the food and wine show, so I didn't have to suffer through fucking free mantle. And um, it was a great experience, just because um. Well, I uh, discovered a whole bunch of new and exciting uh, wines, uh, particularly, <laughs> no, particularly this beautiful little rosé, because nothing says I'm an alpha male like drinking pink wine. <laughs> um, and also this absolutely um, heavenly 
uh, smoked salmon Heavenly. pate from <laughs> New Zealand, which, I mean, that, w- that was just absolutely divine. So my, my goose for the uh, New Zealand smoked salmon pate at the, at the food and wine show yesterday and the incredibly alpha pink wine. Hmm. How, how many corks do you think you could stick up your butt? <laughs> <laughs> oh. How many corks have you stuck up your butt? <laughs> No, no answer. Okay, not biting. No, he doesn't usually bite them afterwards. <laughs> Come on, uh, this this is this isn't a fucking therapy session. Come on, guys, I had a good I, time. I, Don't make fun I, of me. I I, I, I I save this sort of stuff for my therapists. All right, because I I, I pay them to listen to my uh, <laughs> my nonsense. Therapist slash girlfriend. Therapist slash prostitute. I mean, yeah, we'll go with girlfriend or boyfriend. Not that there's anything wrong with that. All right, I'm gonna have. I think I have goo. <laughs> I'm going to have Goo for the movie Baby Driver. It's a good movie. I do recommend seeing, especially when against some crappy football games. Really recommend seeing. Oh, did That's you go on Friday night? Yes, I did. It was fantastic. You went to see the movie Friday night? Yes. Well, that's a good idea. Dodged a bullet. Hang on. You, you opted to go to the movies instead of seeing your team play football. I got free tickets, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Who did you go I with? went with my mate James... What about Dennis? Oh, the, I thought you forgot about James. James was now. James is back in the back in back in the running. Is he? He's back in the clique. Clique. And well, I suppose we'll move on with to the round that was, and we'll start out with the games that didn't matter because really, fuck these games. They are a waste of time. Let's start with Carlton versus Western Bulldogs. Does anyone want to say anything about this game? No. No. You let me no. down. Fuck you, Carlton. Good. That game doesn't matter. One complaint. Go fuck yourself. We we'll move on to Richmond versus Western Bulldogs. Since the dwarf isn't here, this game does not matter. Agreed? Yep, agreed. Great. I think, no, I want to talk about how disappointing it was they only been by 30 points. How fucking shit are Richmond? Um, well, just agree. Yeah, 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 just agree. Okay. <laughs> and, well, suppose we'll go on to the next game, which was the Western Derby, Derby, whatever. That was the shittest game I've seen in 10 years. That was yep. a terrible fucking game. <laughs> yep. Terrible. Yep. I have never I, seen, I, I felt never seen, dirty. Oh, I felt absolutely dirty because I can't stand Fremantle. They're a low-scoring, defensive, boring team to watch. But because it was the Derby and it was the last game of the round, I thought, okay, I'll watch this game. Crap. Absolute crap. It, as a spectacle, it made Cameron Ling look attractive. Yeah. They scored 44 well, points. Cameron Ling was voted as the sexiest man in the AFL in the Herald Sun poll. <laughs> that was a joke. That was a joke called, like the Boaty boat face thing. Well, they did vote for him. I mean, maybe some people do find him attractive. No, he was oh, a Jack I've, Watts option. I've got extra goo. Can I have extra goo? No, we're past goo. Into. I can do what I want. I've got extra goo. The Scott Pendlebury season being over. Fuck off, vlog. Oh. <laughs> Injury trolling, you captain. Ah! I, I fuck off. Do you mean fuck off to Adelaide? Yeah, Jakey Lever, come on down. What possible Imagine motivation? The captain. <laughs> what possible motivation would Scott Pendlebury have to go to Adelaide, as reported? Uh, I don't know. Premiership. No one, no one on their, no one wants to go to Adelaide on their free will. No one. People leave Adelaide. Mm. People want to get out of Adelaide. No one wants to go there. It's kind of like the U.S.-Mexico border. No one's trying to <laughs> get into Mexico. <laughs> he's not. He's not going to Adelaide. No, I doubt. There's no fucking way he's going to Adelaide. They'll find some other fucking player that fucking doesn't deserve to be traded and trade him instead and keep fucking overrated with. Levi Greenwood could go home. Yeah, but that, that's different. He's from Adelaide. It's con- it, that's it's the same as yeah, I, know. I know. He's from Adelaide. I, I'm, I'm no not one. Sure. Born outside of Adelaide wants to go to Adelaide. There's nothing appealing about Adelaide. It's a giant Frankston. It's just crap. Avoid it. Stay away from yeah. it. It's it's it, Adelaide is so shit that fucking local local boy and best player from South Australia ever, Ryan Burton, just resisted <laughs> all the overtures to move back home and signed a further three year deal with the Hawks. I'm actually surprised that this wasn't your goo. Oh, it's just. You, you you know I, I always find a way to slip slip in Ryan Burton somewhere. I, I don't need I don't need to put it in my goo and tears. I'll I'll slip a bit of Burton in anywhere. Yeah, well, it matter. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking to Adelaide to Melbourne versus Adelaide. Did anyone watch this? Um, uh, no, 
I saw maybe 15 uh, okay. minutes of it, and it uh, was, yeah, pretty average. Rory Sloan got injured. Um, Sorry, Rory, I've cursed you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but did he get real injured, or did he just play up his injury? I don't know, but I'm like really sorry. Forgive me, Rory. Please leave South Australia. It's a shit off. Uh, Rory's turned to shit. I think the Love Lounge is closed. I you think guys cursed him. It's all on you. No, nah, the Love Lounge needs to be decommissioned, like the fucking rapid ride at Dreamworld. I think oh, it's a oh. what? Hey, uh, Adelaide versus Melbourne. Any more on this game? Nope. All right, we'll move on to the games that, eh, kind of mattered but kind of didn't. We have start out with, uh, well, Port versus North. This game did not matter in the slightest. <laughs> did it happen? And, I don't and, and the game. result was accordingly so. Bad North game. Goldstein, surprisingly, still not the worst Rockman of the round. How did that happen? Because Tom Well, speaking, well, we'll move on to that game. I've this season of Game of Thrones will be less fucking brutal than seeing Tom Hickey on Friday night. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I felt bad for him. Like, he just fucked everything up that he went near the ball and either gave away a free kick or tossed up to the opposition. Made Tom Bell Chambers look like fucking, I don't know. Dean Cox? Dean Cox combined with Brad Ottens combined with Simon Madden. I mean, damn. Holly Farmer. He was bad. I can't even think of players that were good for us as... Apart from Jake Carlisle and old Australian Dylan Robertson. Well, I mean, Carlisle was a pretty good step ladder, so that was, uh, that was something. He at least showed up. I could at least grant him that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it was. He was the only thing keeping the Saints in it early, I reckon. Because the midfield got fucking smashed. That was a. We should have lost that by. If he didn't play, we lose that by 100. We, let, we, let, we made Martin Gleeson look good, and he's. He looks like a dodgy accountant. Hey, I'm an accountant. Don't... He's a dodgy accountant you can't understand. <laughs> or at least someone who reads poetry to random people at, like, a park. Oh. <laughs> or at the Burke Street Mall or something. I don't know, I'm just... Finals are over, our season's done, time to tank, don't give a fuck. Eat your... <laughs> how the hell the one fucking... Puffers would have fallen. Jesus Christ. I was so positive last week. I got too gooey. I cursed us. Like you, Melbourne supporters. I've just fucking learned from the fact that you've been shit for ages. That's but I'm but, yeah, I reckon the Demon supporters are getting a bit up and about, a bit too much. I mean, nowhere near the level of, I mean, oh my God, it's just... You know, win a few games and all of a sudden you're a superpower. <sighs> I don't know. It, you're setting yourself up for a fall, guys. You know? Just I should have known. Did, did you say you guys are going to tank? Might as well. Yeah, yeah. You're, nine. you're yeah. nine. You've had your first loss in like five weeks. Yeah, cookies crack the shits. <laughs> We're not good enough. We need a star midfielder. Uh, they, oh, they def- oh, there's definitely a bit of no, getting it's right. it. It's all right, Cookie, because uh, you're going to get five. Last year, eighth. <laughs> one, one, <laughs> Eighth or seventh, wherever the Bulldogs finish, won the premiership. You just need to make the eight, and you'll have as equal chance as everybody else. Oh yeah, because everyone's average or shit. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> We're not making the eight. Out the back end of the season. How can you not? You're 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 ninth. You're you're behind West Coast, who was eighth on percentage. Yeah. Then we have Sydney next week, who's going to lose us even more percentage. Then Port Interstate. Yeah, they're winnable games. Don't don't worry about it. No, you guys are fucked. I didn't. So then we have Mel- then we have Melbourne, Richmond, and North. That's somewhat better. You're a game point. outside the top four. I mean, you you could you could still do damage. Don't see no, if you're seventeenth, you you tank. You st- you tank. You tank. You tank. But you don't tank when you're ninth. Uh, Not this stuff. Percentage is too shit. What is it? Oh well. Get out of the eight, then. Give us your spot. Ninety nine point four. That's not that bad. No, that's fucking shit. Put Essendon, right. who are behind us, of 108. Yeah, well, even not... we've got a good. We've yeah. got we got 96, and we're fucking 14. At least our percentage is better than Fremantle's. <laughs> That's all I can say. That's <laughs> got to take the small victories where you can find them. Yeah. Oh well, that was Friday night. I Danaher played well. Apparently, I don't know. 
You don't know because you're too busy watching Baby Drama. Yes, I was. <laughs> and well, we'll move on to probably one of the <laughs> closer games, which I only listened to this on the radio, but Collingwood beat Gold Coast. Yeah, the the jinx was nearly on. Um, quarter time comes around, everything's going well, it's nice and warm and we're, we're in shorts. Oh, she was in shorts, I was in a skirt, everything was great. Then it fucking starts to rain. And Jimmy goes to me, oh, oh, this is good for you. This will be good for you. Like, this will shut the game down and, and like, you'll just you'll just lock it up from here. I'd turn around and I was like, this is like that Nahui's thing. You fucking jinxed us, I bet. <laughs> and what a, what happens? They fucking come back. <laughs> Turd of a human. Jinxed it. <laughs> trying, to, trying to retaliate from the week before where... Random Nahuis kick four goals. Well, fucking Gold Coast came out and ran all over the top of us, and we nearly lost. You're you're a turd of a human. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't lose. Yeah, but we nearly did because I yelled at him at half time and I said, "Don't fucking say that again." Oh, so this you, is your you fault. Heard. Yeah, this is your fault. I was overthinking. You reversed the jinx before it could fully take effect. Yeah, I well did. Done. And and because I didn't like I didn't like the position we were in in the ground. I felt like there was just negative energy left there, so we moved and we went and stood in the rain. And then, we ran, was... Sorry. then, we, um, then we ran into Ilksy and, and things got better. The energy was better because so, I got rid of the jinx. So Ilksy is the positive energy. Uh, except at the St Kilda Collingwood game where it was obviously it was his fault then. <laughs> so I haven't been to a game at uh, Metricon. How annoying is it when they um, play this little snippet at the... <laughs> Gary yeah, is a wanker. <laughs> is it, that's what it sounds. That's what it sounds like every time you hear that music. What's annoying is that one end of the ground is completely open, and there's a giant screen behind it. So it must be very off-putting to kick for goal at that end because you can oh, see yeah. yourself on the giant screen that's huh. directly behind the goals. But one thing that I did enjoy was the Gold Coast supporter that followed the Gold Coast um, to each end. That they kicked at with a big target, and and he had it resting on a bin and was not standing next to it. And one of the Collingwood guys picked it up and walked off with it oh. and goes, no, I can't fucking have this here. <laughs> <laughs> and he kicked it. <laughs> and so then he was like, he was giving him dirty looks the rest of the game because they took his target. And every time they'd oh. grow the goal... He, he stopped putting it up after a while, so then they were giving him shit like, oh, you've got to get the target out, get the target out. <laughs> I don't think he was used to the banter. <laughs> oh, man. So it's a bit like, you know, state league footy where you, you know, you go whatever end you're kicking, they follow it around. Yeah, that's what he was oh. doing. And, like, he got a phone call and he's like, Whoever yeah, he was obviously on the phone to a friend. He's like, "Yep, yeah, yeah, I'm just down down the end with the target where I usually stand." And yeah, yeah, at quarter time, I'll uh, walk around the other end and I'll be down there with the target. I was like, "Sure." Oh, oh, yeah. Is this guy like a, a Kenny Light version? No, nah, he was t- he was tall and he was like uh, mid like mid forties, like exactly what I imagined DB Swanee to look like too. <laughs> well, it's just the, yeah. What I mean is sort of like you know, you know, you get those supporters that well, like Kenny, that try to become a personality when really all they're doing is just going to a footy game and acting like a dickhead. Right? Yeah. So basically, anyone in a cheer squad ever. Yeah. Well, well, the yeah mean there's there's different, there's different level, levels. There's your cheer squad supporter who you know waves the flags, blah blah blah. But then there's the overtly um, what's the word? I don't like know. Like Catman. I think the yeah, word you're like looking for is re- re- retarded, I think, is the word you're looking for. <laughs> yeah, no, th- no, this guy had the well, me me He was loving it. <laughs> yeah, that, that is, yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Like, it's like that, Um, that I don't know if you guys watch the Big Bash, but there's, in Perth, there's that bloody idiot that dresses all in orange and dyes his beer or- beard orange. Knocks yeah, little kids out like the way to get on the telly. Yeah, they become caricatures of themselves, like the fucking Catman and, like, like fucking... Yeah, who was exactly. That, who was that Carlton supporter, that feral old bitch? They're not simple, she, though. Uh, we need to have she's got a footy show all the time. Like yeah. Her, Joppa. Yeah, the fat guy for the, uh, the West Coast. Trade draft. You know. <laughs> Warm back. 
we at least have, oh, you Trey know... Trey Jaff! Remember when Trey Jaff got his guts out on TV? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, you don't know yes. about this, do you? I know about a YouTube video, but... <laughs> Not anything else. Oh dear. Uh, draft. You know how uh, Ma- uh, Matthew Lloyd was having to go at a fan like last year or 2015. It was like right. a fully craft fight. Uh, it was trade draft trying to kiss his like the Collingwood badge, except it looked like he was rubbing his mouth full of spit and his gut was just flopping all over the shop. It was quite funny. Ew. <laughs> Ew. He even got an apology from Matthew Lloyd as well. Oh, but, uh, so when so when when you said you've seen a YouTube video on on a scale of zero to ten, how many cots and pregnant women were in that YouTube video? Oh, was, I... he, was he in front of, next to, or inside the cot? <laughs> I don't know. I've tried to. I've really tried to, you know, banish it from my memory with the strict regime of you know beer. But oh my god, I just remember it being quite distasteful. Yeah, he, he closed his YouTube account, surprisingly. Oh, it was a sad day for the Well, shit. Do we have anything else on this game? Oh, or... anyway, yeah. yeah, yeah, I've got more. Um, Dan, did you watch this game? Um, which one are we? Which one are we talking about again? The the Gold Coast oh, Collingwood Gold game. Coast. Yeah. Hmm. Um, not really. I was watching the North game, but yeah, go on. The North game was before it, but that's okay. Um, so you you didn't see um. Who got chaired off the ground? Oh, oh. God, who got chaired off? Tell me. <laughs> oh, Daniel Wells got chaired off. Uh, how many what? games did he play? 250. Mm. But he got oh, chaired oh, off. Um, but he, hang yeah. on, that's not the best bit. He got chaired off beside Jared Blair. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no fucking way. What? And when I've seen the picture, I'm like, Dan's going to fucking love this. <laughs> do, you, do you guys... Do you, that, do you guys understand what I'm getting at now? It's becoming an anyone can sort of be chaired off now, sort of. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree with you, Dan. It's okay. Like, mate. why should he, why should Jared Blair, I've got nothing against Jared Blair, but why should he get the same sort of treatment as the best players of the competition who get chaired off? He shouldn't. You're right. Daniel Wells doesn't deserve to be chaired off next <laughs> to the premiership player, Jared Blair. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Daniel everyone Wells, knows uh, uh, pre- premierships yeah, are the only measure of playing ability worth. Oh uh, yeah, worth more value to yeah. the club. Yeah, yeah Martin Pike can today. have lap of honour. No, he can have three of them for each premiership he's won. That's what I got told today. Nathan Buckley's not a champion because he never won a premiership. That's what someone yeah. told me. Collingwood board. No fucking stupid fucking Mato and fucking Alfred. <laughs> fucking <laughs> Being in, I being hope in they a, never listen to this, but if you do, you're yeah. fucking morons. How could but he but won one of their won. stupid tin pot premierships in the? Oh no! Nah, no, all of a sudden that didn't count. Oh. <laughs> in that context, Se- selective premierships count. counting. Yeah, they're fucking losers. Whole state of South Australia is. Let's be honest. Oh well, that didn't fucking work, did it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very, well done, bombers. You've done well with that one. <laughs> Fuck off, Dan. It's it's kind of like a bomber's quote. It's just text <laughs> that. <laughs> how to quote a how to quote a post of Zambian. Well, I don't really want to look at the picture of Jared Blair, Blair being chaired off. He doesn't deserve it. Yeah. Look at the picture, Dan. Look. Gotta say, it's, it's it spins me out to see Daniel Wells. Oh, that's not even Jersey. the picture. Oh fuck! Oh yes, it is. Scroll down. Oh, uh, we'll move on to the last game of the round, and I'm sorry to do this to you, Penal, but. Isaac Smith, he definitely no, no, stood up no, and he came. Okay. Moving, moving on, this game didn't matter. Moving on. <laughs> this was the so only sorry, game I'm just, I I'm saw just... this weekend, Pingle, so we need to I'm talk just, about I'm... it. <laughs> well, the, the actual game of football was kind of of secondary importance because really the only thing that was going on out there was a fucking attention horror of the year contest <laughs> between Andrew <laughs> Field. And Razor Ray, oh. both trying to do their best to get their fucking ugly mugs on the telly um, for as mm. much time as possible. And uh, I think Razor Ray started strongest. <laughs> he he definitely uh, had a very strong opening quarter and a half, but then Dangerfield just just lifted the attention horse stakes and just just made it all about himself for the rest of the game <laughs> after that point. And mm. really. No one even noticed there was a game of football. It was just fucking danger me the whole time. <laughs> I've got to say, I've watched this game and 
it was the most over umpired thing I've seen. Like, let the players have a fight and a push and shove for fuck's sake. Everything's not a fifty metre penalty. Calm your tits, umpires. See, you should you should take note of that in your modding, Cookson. Not everything's a day <laughs> off. Calm your tits. Hey, I will not give days off unless they deserve it. I'm a lenient mod. Uh, Already. I hope you I hope you are more in the vein of David Schwartz. A good man. If you get banned by me, then you're a massive fuckwit because you've fucked up big time. <laughs> so, so uh, pretending to be Irish, do you think that's worthy of a uh, day off? No. All right, good call, good call. Happy with that. Incorrect, you're a dickhead, Cookson. All these <laughs> fake Irish people everywhere, give me the shits. There are two sure. types of people in this world. There are people who are Irish and the ones that wish they were. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that sounds like some kind of Instagram mem. <laughs> or some shit Conor McGregor would say. <laughs> Fuck you at the end. Is anyone else interested in the Conor McGregor thing? I'm balls deep in it. Versus, oh, that's not. Versus Good Mayweather. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, I really, not. I would, really enjoyed the, the, the banter when he was talking about why do you have a school bag you can't fucking read? <laughs> you can't even read. <laughs> He's like, well, you got school bag. He's like, you're 40 years old. It wouldn't <laughs> like, surprise me. Bag? You can't fucking read. It was all scripted. scripted. Because yeah. Mayweather's going to kick his head in. Well, it was all scripted. They flew on the same private jet together. <laughs> you say this, I'll say that. I'll say that. Yeah, uh, speaking of scripted, uh, back to fucking the umpiring of Hawthorne versus Geelong. Oh, fuck um, off, bugger. Do we have to? <laughs> but seriously, like, Razor Ray was hogging the show and just wanting to pay a free kick every five seconds, and it doesn't help that you've got the biggest attention whore in the AFL out there drawing free kicks. And I, I reckon um, Kane Corns is bang on the money. I mean, he, of course he was <laughs> faking it. He just wanted the attention because you can't, you can't be legitimately injured and play yeah. like that. Like, he, t- and then he, he turned into he, a man-mouse mountain after looking like he broke his leg. He then bent his over happen. and kicked 5-6 and won his team in the game. He should have kicked yeah, 10. So, but clearly, fake. I don't 10. remember uh, any of this at the crow. Luckily, luckily, he is still a shit kick, even when he's faking an injury, so that he, <laughs> he, he gave us a chance. And, uh, and Isaac... Know, Isaac he gave me, Isaac a chance, uh, but Isaac chance. didn't take it again. The smiling assassin, again. the cocky little shit that he is, missed it again. <laughs> <laughs> but on that, on the danger field thing, like, is it just me? Is it turning a little weird? Like, How? there was um, when they played those couple of games at Geelong on Friday night, there was one of the roaming BT episodes, and it was sort of like just hanging out the back. What? trying to basically get his mug on camera, you know, and oh, it was just really bizarre. Like, right? it's just, I don't know, he just seems to be going a bit weird. What I moment. see from um, Dangerfield is that he is plastic as fuck. Everything about his yeah, personality maybe he is. Maybe he's awkward. fake. No, I reckon he's just fake. His personality is fake. He's trying to get into media. He's probably going to work for Channel 7 when he retires. He's like Chris Judd, but at least Chris Judd was... You know, not yeah, because as was, you know, he was his own boring cunt self. At least yeah. it was real. Like the, yeah. the guy, the guy couldn't be more of a vanilla person. But it, but that's just who he was. He wasn't playing up to some character of himself and just being in a, making himself look like an absolute dick all the time. Like mm. like today in the press conference where he bought all the props and blah blah blah. Like, ah, oh, there, that's funny. Like. What are you trying? Are you not. trying to compete with Swanee? Are you trying to be the next funny guy? Like the thing that was funny about Swanee is that he wasn't trying to be funny. Yeah, that was like, just his natural didn't self. Didn't give a fuck yeah. the whole time. No, it's just that he was funny. You are constantly trying so hard that it's cringeworthy, mm. and that's what it's yeah, that's probably it's cringeworthy. Yeah, that's probably more what I'm getting at. Yeah, the fact that it's just cringeworthy, and I mean, you. Yeah. You just I, didn't ask think, for more legs. But I think I have to take some of the blame for this, a bit like Morgan huh. and, uh, and NL with the Nighthouse thing. Um, mm-hmm. Just, bec- just because uh, last week I said, 
gee, wouldn't it be funny if Paddy Dangerfield got eaten by a shark and broke his leg? <laughs> and this week he does pretty much break his, break his leg, or at least pretend to break his leg, and then he turns into a fucking Hulk and destroys <laughs> us. So, so, I, yeah. so it's, it, it's you. It's on me, guys. Sorry, Preston. Okay. I feel for you. The last time I was at a game with Geelong and someone turned into the Incredible Hulk, we lost a flag because fucking Tomahawk went Incredible Hulk when Ben Reid limped around on fucking one leg like a geriatric fuck. Oh, fuck. But, uh, you know, I'm not bitter. But, but at least Ben Reid was probably genuinely injured and not just faking it. So oh, you've no, got he that was genuinely injured, with. but he's, yeah. he was injured, but his coach wouldn't take him off because he was a geriatric fuck too. Yeah, so, so so the coach was an attention-seeking flog. Yay! But um, I did notice during the commentary that Eddie, uh, I don't know if it was intentional or not, but Eddie, maybe he's been reading the bait and he called uh, Tomahawk Porkins when he was uh, um, <laughs> lumbering, lumbering to get to a contest and Eddie just pulls out the uh, the Porkins line. So it might have been that- intentional. Like, Eddie's been a fat fuck for so long, but give him three weeks on the fucking Slim Shakes and he's calling people pork and <laughs> Well, it's a bit like Melbourne Melbourne fans at the moment. You just have that little bit of success and then all yeah, of a sudden you're the... where you came from when you were sucking on fucking pork crackling under a table like a fat fuck, Eddie. <laughs> to, be, to, I mean, to be fair to Eddie, he's, he's, not, he's not a professional athlete. He's not paid to stay in shape. He's uh, expected to yeah. adhere to a very different set of standards. So He's not paid to know. do his job at the Collingwood Football Club, but it'd be great if he fucking did a better one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm tired. I'm getting is it, is it is there anyone at Collingwood doing a good job at all? More yeah. Just out of interest? Yeah. The, the janitor? Zoran? Um, no. Um, maybe. 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 <laughs> Well, Wellesley, um Josh Thomas. Here. Josh Thomas okay. is doing a good job. He had two years off and he's come back and he's doing well. Good, good for Josh. Oh, well, you asked me a question, well, I fucking answered it. You're five and two with Wellesley in the side, so he must be doing all right. Oh, yeah, he's a gun, Wellesley. Love him. Well, we'll move on Just, to you. Yeah, I guess the week. The I hope he gets other shit things off. out of this game, uh, Tom Mitchell is still great and... Um, Fucking yawn. Talk about vanilla Brian plot. Brian Burton is... Uh, Critis. Critis 2. <laughs> Critis 2. <laughs> and oh, it was Hodgie like 300. No, he's so like a reject shot for this. Good on your Hodgie. 300 fantastic games. And... And one just, sad... Uh, it's it, it's going to be a, a shame when, when he eventually does hang up the boots. I love Luke Hodge. I'm just going to say that. He's a, he, he's a great bloke. He's Should not a great player, but I like him. He's just a good. He's just. I don't know. I'd love to have a beer with Hodgie because Hodgie's been mate. <laughs> <laughs> and well, we'll move on to this week's talking points. And speaking of good blokes, guess who the AFL's decided to present the Norm Smith Medal? No, no, <laughs> this is a terrible decision. That's right, no. it's James Hurd. No. But they didn't no. really decide it. It goes in order, and it's his turn. Well, they may, they, they could have decided not to, you know, use the order. I'm sure that hasn't been yeah, a because, traditional thing. They've only just started no, it. No, that, it, it has been a traditional thing, but did anyone actually notice that it went in order? No. no. So no one would have fucking missed it. Yeah, so they should have just invited, um, who was it the year after that? Uh, Nathan was Buffett. Was it Acker or? Sean Hart. No, the Sean oh, Hart. Oh, Sean Hart. No, they'd probably think he was one of the kids handing out the hats. <laughs> I'll see the crucifix um, around his neck. And... <laughs> Maybe he could hand out a helmet. But I'm, I mean, I'm... I know that the, the the dogs won't be there again this year. But can you just imagine Sean Hart giving a medal to uh, Caleb Daniel? <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just seems wrong. But they give well, him the box like to stand on. Maybe they're trying to hang out. They're trying to hang out on Sean Hart, hoping. Hoping that Gold Coast turned it around so that they could like have a big like prayer vigil on the fucking North <laughs> Can I just quickly go off topic, but kind of related to medals and all that kind of stuff? You don't have to ask. Just go. Sure. Oh, okay. All right. Well, Dan hates people getting cheered off, but I hate all these manufactured little medals after particular games, like the Ross Glendinning Medal 
the Archer Heard medal, all these medals, even the Anzac Day medal. I don't know, that's what, stuff what? James had to put in the resume. way. Ha, ha, very much. <laughs> but, like, why do all these games need a medal? Like, because otherwise, why like, would we ever remember Mark McGough? How else well, will Paul Seisman... Oh, that medal. How else will Paul Seisman... Damien Cupido, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Damien well, Cupido. The... Scott I mean, Templeberry. <laughs> at least the Anzac Day medal is kind of uh, significant. I mean, uh, Hawthorne yeah. St Kilda has this random, like, police shield cross medal, which, yeah, yeah. I don't know, Sh- Shane, Shane Savage won <laughs> once, won that once, so it can't be too prestigious. <laughs> but, I mean, like, um, well, the Anzac Day medal sort of makes sense if it sort of came from, like, I don't know, the Anzac Return Services League or whatever the case may be. Like, they decided... Not just an AFL dictated award. Like, oh, here's a good just one. Like, the HMAS sorry? Sydney 2 trophy for Sydney versus West Coast. The what fuck? is that? <laughs> Every game you could win a medal. It's great. But, but, but <laughs> even, yeah, but even like a trophy at the end of the derbies or whatever. Like, it's just a <laughs> regulation game now. <laughs> What does the trophy look like for the Battle of the Bridge? Is it an actual bridge? <laughs> <laughs> they get awarded the toll revenue for that bridge. Yeah, I was gonna, Do they gonna get like a toll passes passes or something? Because it looks like this we have a bridge. But, yeah, I just... I, You're know. right, the grill. There's, there's too many of these uh, pissy little trophy medal sort of um, awards for regular regulation games. Um, yeah, what you're doing, right, the girl. Like, Dan would like this league to be celebrated less because it is average <laughs> shit. But um, but I mean, like, and what they're also doing is they're actually diminishing the market for unsold medals to fund gambling debts as well. Like, yeah, but at the same at the same time, like. Uh, if, if there are more medals given out, that gives you more opportunity to steal one. Yep. Yes, but at the same time, it's valueless because, you know, supply and demand, if there's a glut of medals in the market, you're not going to recoup much. It's not worth stealing. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. There's 18 goal-kicking trophies, but only one person <laughs> stole one. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I've heard uh, the uh, Old fuzzy boy. Took no pride in his twenty-five goal goal kicking medal. <laughs> no wonder he I got mean... fucking depressed. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> like I can... I'm totally no. sorry, sorry, talk, Baz. Well, talk about diminishing the value of a trophy. Like, if you fucking hand out goal kicking medals for that, uh, twenty-five <laughs> goals in a season, then that. That that's as bad as handing out a fucking police shield medal or something because like you should set a quote on it and say if you if no one kicks at least fifty goals in a year or maybe forty forty goals in a year for a club in order to get even a goal kicking trophy like because that's how fucking Drew Petrie won all those medals at North and think about all the shitters really? who have won the Carlton goal kicking over the years like but, Matthew Wright I think won it last year with 17 goals or something but I mean but at, at least... the same time it needs to be adjusted for your ladder position I think because if you've got a shit truck side the, the ball's just not getting there I mean you might only have the opportunity to kick 30 goals in a year yeah well at least Alex Fasolo has already beaten last year's last year's amount he's on 27 it's going to be a real hoot when he wins it with 30 this year <laughs> Can't wait to be there at the Copeland. Hopefully I get pissed again and get kicked out. <laughs> and a really good goal at the end of um, his comeback game, I thought. Really good Yeah, goal. yeah, yeah. It was, that was the best one. Fuck you, yeah, Stubman. That, 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 that was... Uh, I hope he announces that that goal was the key one that helped him uh, come back to full form and win the trophy. Oh. I didn't believe in football again. That would be glorious. It's a good story. <laughs> Anything else on James Heard? No, fuck off. Uh, it's a disgrace. He's going to get booed. Yeah, that'll be funny. Well, when, so. when they I said, really is it too so. soon? It'll always be too soon. Because nobody yeah, will ever <laughs> forget what you did. If, yeah, if, if you have a remorseless psychopath who thinks he didn't do anything wrong. Oh, we just abided by his artist's guidelines and uh, <laughs> I'm shocked to be sitting here and all that shit. Yeah, this I think is, you'll this find is like, the Essendon Football Club in a good place at the end of this. 
Yeah, this is this is just yeah. like uh, Dan and his constant jokes about MH370. If you have to ask if it's too soon, it's probably too soon. <laughs> probably. Well, I mean, tragedy plus time equals comedy, so... Yeah, but Dan doesn't even give it time. He's just an <laughs> asshole. Like, the next day he said, I fucking made it disappear. You did and make it disappear. <laughs> There's that and, line. And, I've, and, don't and, even do that job comedy. anymore. You scarred me so much. I've done it. I don't I've do that norm. job anymore. Dan, they got onto me. Dan, there is a board where you can put your conspiracies on and you can get all the likes. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll just tag the shit out of Morgan and say, this is the person that was responsible for the missing plane. Oh, God. And Starburns has got to be so disappointed at the lack of James O. Jerks, but who gives a fuck? Let's move on to a jaunty old Oh, well, he, he cared so fucking much he could turn up and make him Sook. <laughs> Let's move on to another jaunty topic of AFL sex scandals, and this time not involving St. Kilda. Shock horror. Um, who, are, who are these, who are these people, people that got involved? Since when is cheating people. on your wife a reason to lose your job? I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't really give a shit about this, because these people I don't know. They're nobodies. Like, I, I could... The AFL... Simon Leslie's not a nobody. That other butt-kiss person is. Yeah, he, they could he's all the mastermind AFL. behind AFLX. <laughs> yeah, the Simon Leslie... Yeah, AFL AFL XXX as well. AFL. They could all be going at it like rabbits. I couldn't care less. As long as they do their job right, I... I mean, care. as long as there's no, like, pressure... They didn't pressure the girls into it or... Or whatever the case may be, it's you know, it, 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 there's a very strong was... potential for a conflict of interest. So, oh, oh of course, it's, it's shit. But, they're, but I mean, at the same time, they are adults. having sex. Big fucking deal. It's none of your business. AFL, stop trying to control everybody. But if if what is being said, whispered about, like them having lists of women who they wanted to sleep with and ranking the women they work with. Well, that's sexual harassment. You can't do shit like that. It's not fucking high school. You can't be acting like that. So if that's the case, then fuck off. You don't deserve to have a job. Are you... Um, do you not like the idea of them having a list because you wouldn't rank as high? Or do you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I'm, ki- I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, yeah, as I said, I, I, I couldn't care less. I mean... As long as they're doing their job, fine. Them. Thing, they can they can go at it like rabbits. They can all do it on the center square inside Eddie Had when the lights are out. As long as but no does the there, roof have to be closed or does the roof have to be <laughs> closed? Be a better pre-match entertainment than that fucking Bulldogs movie. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. But I mean, the funniest. Well, the funniest. The, well, the thing about it that really got me quite angry was. Uh, Tom Brown um, tweeted, oh, there's going to be two resignations. We won't name the parties out of respect. And then nine minutes later, before the people were named, so he, he <laughs> broke the news, he went ahead and named them anyway. Like, what's his... I, 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 it just highlights how full of shit the media is in, in AFL. It's just ridiculous. But, I, like, if... If it's a consensual relationship, why are the men named and the women not named? And why, why is anyone named? Why are we talking about it? Maybe, maybe, no, maybe, the, maybe the women forced the men. Well, I guess, yeah, because I said, obviously, there could be a conflict of interest with the higher-up higher, higher up people using the lowers for sex and change of favours, but it could just as easily work both ways, where, like, someone manipulates an older man for sex in order for career advancement for themselves. So I think it, obviously both parties consented to the relationship, so potentially they are equally responsible and should be uh, both named and shamed. And fine. Do you get a fire to fire for? Like, I can understand what? Ali Fahor getting sacked because bashing a guy on a footy field is just not good enough, but... Seriously, who cares if people in the AFL are having sex? I don't go to the AFL for my morality advice. I go well, to the club. They don't that. need to no. be the fucking no, and, 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 of all things moral. Fucking yes, and no. sack, sacking, they, a, not. sacking a couple of glob blokes who couldn't control where they stuck their dick isn't going to change the AFL's moral standing. It's still a fucking... No, because you've still got 800 air. players who can't control where they stick their dicks. I'm sure they cleaned the meeting table and all the copy machines and 
Why not? Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be and, fine. and they, they they probably had a, a and a bunch of actual physical stuff that they had to uh, sweep under the rug, as opposed to just metaphorically. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we'll move on from well. Someone mentioned media, and we'll talk about. Uh, Tom Jonas talked about the media being pretty much a waste of semen during the week. Did anyone catch this? Yeah, it was really yeah. good. I mean, good con- in terms of articles from footballers, it's like I can't really say he's wrong. I mean, we've all spoke about various media people: cough, cough, Damian Barrett, cough, cough, <laughs> getting shit Slobo. blatantly wrong. Slobo. It's like AFL players fuck up unless you're. For some reason, that coach's pet like Nick Subin or Braden Maynard or Sam Gilbert, but they get dropped. Oh, but oh, Braden Maynard kicked a goal. Mm-hmm. But the media people, oh, they can just go willy nilly and it'll be fine. So, mm. uh, yeah, yeah no, you're 100 percent right. That he made, yeah, where he was like that he was identified as the wrong person and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Or... that was a really good piece. I really liked it. I thought. The the complete ineptitude of the media never gets called out and it's just accepted that they can write a fucking one-line apology and hide it in a 100-page newspaper that no one ever reads to correct their fucking misdoings. So I like that scene. Somebody called them out. When um, Homer Simpson gets, you know, arrested, well, gets accused of sexual harassment and at the end of the show that, did a hatchet job on him. We'd like to make the following apologies, and it's just this really long, quick-running list of all these people that they misspoke about. The, f- the following people, despite our earlier reports, <laughs> are not actually gay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but you also see like dickhead Barrett, and on the Sunday, which is like going, "Oh, who's just a sniper? Who did the pot shot? It was it Andrew Gaff?" It's like. How's that relevant? He just completely and utterly owned you. You can't even put your hand up saying, yeah, we're fucked up numerous times. But I'm sure he knows what a sliding door moment is. Whereas Barrett, <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, Clearly he doesn't. I mean, we just... Even commentators, I mean, Foxtel have that, what, Brenton Speed guy in... He's done NRL matches and AFL, uh, A-League matches, and yet he shits on everyone else. Do we have oh, oh, here on, I can't believe it. I've, I think we've witnessed the first sign of the apocalypse. Um, Brendan Goddard actually did or said something that was spot on when he had a crack at Basil Semplis over his stupid puns. <laughs> Go on. I pretty much said it there. But he... Yeah, um, there, there was a clip on Twitter I, I noticed, and he basically just said, "Yeah, <laughs> Basil, we was, game." Was this the uh, the, the memory thing last week? I would have thought that, that would have been one of the examples he he uh, he raised, um, and the uh, the the shoey one, obviously, a few weeks ago. Oh, cringe! Basil's... How can you like a world where I yeah. have to agree, with Brendan Goddard, right? Yeah. Just, that's not the word I want to live in. Goodbye. That Basil, Basil, <laughs> Basil wants to be Dane Swan, but in actual fact, he's just a poor man's Patrick Dangerfield in the comedy <laughs> stakes. He wants to be Dane Swan, but he's probably more likely to be Dane Cook. Edgy. Better than being ugly Dane Rampy's mustache. Oh, what? oh that's a pedo mustache hey. to the max. Why do players have oh, that? Yeah. It gives me the creeps. I don't know why. Also, <laughs> but, speaking of players, and, I'm just going to say and this. Pe- and people were uh, coming out saying Jonas was being selfish or something by putting that out, but his his whole premise was the fans, the consumers yeah. of the media yeah. Yeah. deserve to be treated better because ultimately it's not the players who have to put up with the media's end product, but they're certainly made aware of it. It's the fans that have to tune in every week. No, and I like they're it. the ones well, who I... ultimately cop the end product. And he's looking out for us, and it's and it's good to see that. And I'm, well, I'm all for Jonas it. Brothers. more of that. <laughs> Thank you. So speaking of players, I knew a Jonas Brothers song. I'd sing one. <laughs> um, Weezer did a song. My name is Jonas. I'll try to find it. 
my name is Hang Jonas. I don't yeah. remember from Guitar Hero. And well, <laughs> yeah. the okay. next <laughs> talking oh, point. Name, I don't have any more talking points, to be honest. Yeah, had that Fife who's going to sign with St. Kilda. <laughs> We already announced we weren't into racing like May, so... Ah, yeah. oh, that's alright. I don't think that's oh, uh, more breakfast uh, money for uh, Ryan Burton, eh? If you want to play... What, what about how uh, Adelaide aren't going to get Ryan Burton, giving them more money to throw at Scott Pendlebury? <laughs> money for Cliff and Pendlebury for free. A microwave oven. <laughs> well, I suppose we'll move on to this week on the Bay, and we'll start out with... Last week's <laughs> poll. Color TV. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and well, the poll for last week was which corns is your favourite? Uh, eleven. <gasps> corn on the cob. Oh, they really, this poll was missing corn on the cob. <laughs> <laughs> I love corn. <laughs> and well, <sighs> five point nine percent of people said cane corns. Brain power would know all about that. Yeah, I, I I changed my vote from uh, none of the above to Kane after Kane called out Dangerfield for being an attention-seeking flog. So, well done, Kane. You are now my favourite corns. 11.8% or Kraffles and Hadouken went for Chad Corns. <laughs> oh, oh, what a surprise! Yeah, uh, apparently that's some weird Essendon connection thing because of Wanganine and Hardwick or something. I, I, I don't know. Essendon supporters are weird. And we already know that. They're a whole bunch of... And 82.4% said, Jack Watts says they can all go and get fucked. So well done to those people. You deserve a uh, right. thumbs up or some shit, I don't know. Or a hug or... And some corn! And well, we'll move on to this week. On the... No, I already said that. What, like... what about uh, Brad, Brad Scott going to Collingwood? Have we discussed that? Oh. Penal, why are you doing this? I'm tired. I don't need to have a meltdown. Penal, it's not happening. It's not fucking happening. They're keeping you, him forever. You, you, you want to keep Brattles? I, I'd assume you'd want to be pushing him out the door. No, not, partic- not particularly. Not yeah, particularly, but I mean, he, he's doing he's doing better than some other coaches. So I'm not really. You're right. The whole one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be honest, like nothing's going to happen while they're still trying to get Dustin and um, Josh Kelly, no matter how realistic or not it is. It, no, no potential recruit's going to come to a club without a coach. Or would you get a new coach, like Lee Tudor? Or... Yeah, but, but uh, well, if, if Scott goes, all his assistants have to go, in my opinion. It has yeah, to be Brad Greenvest. I want to see Brad Greenvest as the coach. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know. imagine, imagine how he'd celebrate a goal when you're 12 goals down. <laughs> Beating uh, his chest and shit. So sick. That scares me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to this week on the Bay, and we'll start up with Fred of the Week. Who's got Fred's? Um, I kind of like that. Uh, please, the what? The Someone bottom. please tell me that's not Patrick Dangerfield who started the thread on Bay 13. It's not. Oh it God. is. It is. It is. It is not. It is 100% him. Yes. He verified. <laughs> he he no. even mentioned it on his verified Twitter account. He did not. Come on. It is. Go check his Twitter account. He talks about uh, signed up for Bay 13. <laughs> Can I do and, and Cookie, you've, you've got the IP to verify this, right? Oh, yeah, I definitely <laughs> do. <laughs> uh, good times. No, but I mean, I thought that uh, Bay 13 Underground... Looks like a pretty good thread. I think it looks alright. Yeah, that was a good thread. Hmm. Oh, what was the what was the thread, Jimmy? Yeah, that, that's the poster. Oh, which is the most pathetic plastic downright fucking annoying <laughs> thread <laughs> from my favourite poster, Bolton Voice. <laughs> Love it. My, Love it. I think my fav my favourite thread was. Uh, uh, Cardinia Parks Child Pornography Services before that was uh, unceremoniously deleted. And you're welcome. <laughs> oh, are you, are you responsible for that travesty? No, I just locked it. I'm going to go for the... Uh, the was it? Geelong versus Hawthorne Fred. That was pretty good. <sighs> yeah, Great. Go with that one. 
I'm yawning because I'm bored. I'm so bored of that shit fight. Bored, bored, bored. Somebody else shit fight. Not the fucking West Horsham idiots. There's been no West Horsham no shit fights this year. Oh, yeah, you should be in the WhatsApp chat that I'm in. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I'm not. <laughs> Oh, the Puffers and GoCros drive you fucking mental. <laughs> yeah, Richmond supporter optimism graph, that was also pretty good. Well, yeah, that is a good one. That, five, you'll get mad. Yeah, for fuck five, uh, he, he's not here, is he? was alright. Try as you might, you can't keep the champ away from the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good thread. What, what about the, uh, the thread that just been started by the very legitimate, real Patrick Dangerfield account. I just mentioned that. I, 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 I it's not him, is it? Yes, it Surely is. It is. It is not. It is so. It, it is there's him. no mention of it on, on his Twitter anyway. So that's that's bogus. <laughs> he he told you should get a little like tick. Cookie like told it was him. It said on the. They said something on the mod board about it. Well, we can't see the fucking mod board, can we? But Cookie I, just told us I before. Can. I see it. It's remember it's the new moderator, Cookson. Cookson, new new <laughs> almighty Cookson. Can you can you screenshot the mod board for us? I can't. Chief will disagree with that. Ah, oh, well then, there's bullshit. <laughs> I can't break Dangerfield's privacy. He's not no, going to post on Facebook. He's not going to bite the hand that feeds the almighty new moderator. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Patrick Dangerfield there for a sec. That so says Patrick Dangerfield is a new investor in Big Footy, Dan. We have to respect him. <laughs> Patty, what's, what's, what's oh, he investing? <laughs> <laughs> well, this thing called money. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I bet this place pumps our money for sure. Oh, damn. Although, Where's our gold right. badges? Damn. That's a very... What? Don't ask me. I, I, if, if it was up to me, we would have had them before. Yeah, but we here started. is your opportunity to plead your case, because Chief might listen and it won't get cut out. Chief doesn't give a single shit about anything other than the money that comes into his account from ad clicks. Click, he, he click, runs, click, uh, click, click, click. Chief, Chief runs big advertising footy forum, not big footy <laughs> forum. <laughs> it's all he cares about is people clicking on ads and buying platinum. Rolling out the big dog. Oh, oh, I've got ad blocker. There, there you go, Dan. There's a proof. Where? What, what proof? I just... <laughs> 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 the real Patrick Dangerfield probably would do that. Yeah, that's how much of a fucking attention who he is. So we're going to give Patrick Dangerfield friend of the week. Yeah, right. it's not even him. What? Are you doing? <laughs> Dude, that's his missus Hold, holding a... up his <laughs> announcement. It's a green. We'll move on to a flog of the week and state your nominations. Anyone who voted for Chad in the poll from, from the <laughs> podcast can have my nomination for Flog of the Week, or any corns for that for that matter. Can I ask a question? Is the boys for real, or is he just playing a role? No, he's, um, a, he's, he's a dead set yeah. zombie. Because it was he, I, I, I had I had actual concerns for his mental health during the week. <laughs> Um, no, there's no concerns to be had there. there. There's no concerns, but... No, uh, well, the the is the best. Maybe, maybe the I haven't been on the forum for long enough, or on this board for, for long enough, but I was actually really worried he was going to go full, like, Columbine on some people. <laughs> no, he's just he's, he's uh, a bit he angry with the dickhead, but he's, he's, his heart's in the right spot. Okay, all right. Well, then I don't go for him. Um, I'm not sure who else. No, no, no one would. No, I'll no, go with Dan. Yeah, Dan, go, yeah, vote for Dan. What? Hang, Hang on. on. Yeah, Dan. Uh, Hang on. You've been on here once. <laughs> once. <laughs> at, yeah, least, yeah. at least at least, these other plebs have been on here for years when they cast their vote on me for no reason. You you have no position to be calling me <laughs> for the week. Uh, well, know your, know, oh, no, 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 your place. Listen with your your place instead of your mouth if you want second. to come back here. <laughs> Oh, look, it's a dog shit fight. <laughs> you were talking about us tanking and going for the tank, embracing the tank. It just goes against every fibre of my being to do so. 
but it's not a it's not a real tank because we're not in the same realm as Carlton or Melbourne who blatantly cheat. We're actually trying to win, but we're tanking. If that makes sense, that's what I mean. It's, we're not going to make the final. Oh, okay. We're not going to make the finals, and if we finish last, then we can play hardball with GWS and say we're not giving you okay. pick one. We'll just we'll pick up Josh Kelly in the preseason draft. It's yeah, not. We it's don't not like that. In the- it's just still foreign to me, okay? I'm, I'm adjusting. But yeah, well, adjust, adjust, adjust quick because you're not <laughs> voting for me for Flog of the Week. <laughs> he doesn't say who he's voting for. There's, there's 100,000 people who are, who are members of Big Footy. Pick one of them. Don't pick me. Uh, I pick... Well, actually, I was saying I was agreeing with you originally, but you re- reacted. So I went on with it. But I was going to agree with your comment about whoever picked Chad Corns is a good player or a good person or a favourite. But you flew off the handle and it was just too good an opportunity to pass up, mate. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I hope, I, hope, I hope you enjoyed your one and only time of being <laughs> this prestigious uh, vlogcast. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, trade drafts are the you toys are, you, you, are, the you are now in the same category as... Um, Jose and K4E and other wankers that are trying to get on, but will never be allowed to come on. He's cracked it. Oh, you deserve it. Are you okay? LaGrill's coming back every week because you're a fucking sook. Come on, man. Like what a good addition to the podcast. Kin to Brian Taylor on Friday Night Oh, fuck off. I love BT. Wow, we. Yeah, no, that's a compliment. That is a compliment. That is a compliment. <laughs> From EIM. And Jesse White, I would just like to say, Jesse White, the cat, is not winning Flog of the Week because he's behaved for an hour. Well, I, 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 I really feel it'd be, it, 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 would, it would be wrong if uh, Cadinia Park did not win this. Yeah, he's I mean, a flog he's too. Who, who stalks it. little kids in the park and takes photos of yeah, them? Yeah, he was, he was in a real weird mood on Saturday. It was raining and he sent me a message saying, are you wet? And then he goes, oh, that sounds bad. And, uh, yeah, he gets <laughs> weirdo. Don't worry, Dan. I'm going to go for this guy. Yeah, that's weird. You know what? I'm going to let it up. I'm going to have a poll. I'm going to have a poll. We're going to let the people decide Flog of the Week. Oh, that's the, good, Cookson. You're really innovating. Yep, I like the, it. The people's flog. New mod, new ideas. <laughs> out, out with the stale, staleness and with the new mod ideas. This, this is Dan, why you were voting for Cookson. KP and Starbirds. <laughs> well, if you're going to do it that way, add Craffles to the to the list as well. For the you Chad. voted for Chad. We had we had like ten straight votes for Jack Watts, and no one voted for any of the corns. And then Craffle comes along and stuffs it up and goes, oh, "I'll vote for Chad." So, add add Hadouken too. Hadouken and I've got a question about Hadouken. Um, He's a I asked him it, but he, he didn't get back to me. <laughs> Why is his name Hadouken when he's got an avatar of um, Zangief when Ken and Ryu did the Hadouken thing? Because he's Street a dickhead. <laughs> okay. That works. Oh, fuck. We have questions Damn. as well. Fuck, I forgot about them. Shit, what questions do we have? I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared. Uh, Something about an ex-player going into commentary. Uh, no, we have yeah. a question for the flog pass from uh, Brain Power. He probably wanted this read out. Actually, this isn't just... This isn't a question. Just something bad about Geelong, okay? Fucking rubbish. Isn't this what Bosk asked? Yeah, you don't Bosk need a reason, but if you do need a reason, just look at the way their flog camp... Flog supporters have conducted themselves on a bay lately. Absolute vermin in human form, that lot. Yeah, I'm salty, so fucking sue me. I don't care. Just hang some fucking shit on those arrogant twats because I've had enough of this shit and I can't be the only one. Yeah. Wasn't that boss right. that said I'm that? Yep. Yeah, that was yeah, so you, I you fucking hate fucking... Geelong. You know why I um, fucking hate Geelong? Because I used to really like Smorgies and they fucking shut it down. <laughs> I fuck you, Geelong. Bring back Smorgies. I don't mind Geelong. Was, hang on, was Smorgies one of one of them sort of all you can eat sort of places? Yeah. Oh yeah. Did you have one on your side of town, Dan? No, I just remember the cringy ad um, they had on TV years ago. Anyways, um, the one that yeah, Geelong that, that, had had salty the seal. Was, it reminds me that, of Boss, real salty. Hang on, hang on. Was that 
was that Legrill said you don't mind Geelong? Yeah, I don't uh, have I, 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 nah, I, I, I'm with Dan. You're disinvited. Never coming back on. <laughs> I was trying to do it to sort of, you know, um, a cut a bubble or whoever it was. Um, cut above. Ask the question. And it's boss. Just call I him. Thought if we boss. just said, oh, he's all right, then he wouldn't have got what he wanted. Yeah, well, see, the thing with Bosk is he only asks questions that he leads the, you to the answer of, and if you don't answer it the way he likes, then he cracks his shits and only asks in PMs. That's cool. And when, when he does that, we don't answer his question because then we don't child. answer his questions because he's a fucking child. <laughs> so uh, this is what uh, my wife wanted. As much as I miss Salty the Seal, grow up, boss, you fucking sook. <laughs> I'm going to bed now. I've had enough. Goodbye. <laughs> at at the yeah. same time, I think I think all of his points are about Geelong and how that club is utter scum and. Oh, filth valid. incarnate on this earth are totally valid mm. and should be given credence. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to find for other questions. Okay, bye. See you, kids. Ciao. The, the, the thing is, oh, yeah. I can't actually answer a question well. because he hasn't asked, asked us a question. Feed your Just cat. <laughs> led, led with the answer, as always. But, it, but it's a very accurate answer. Geelong are a pack of cunts. And, um, yeah, so the, the day that Kim, Kim Jong Il or Un or whichever one of them it is now uh, decides to drop a nuke on that shithole town. The will be the day that I just fucking open bar. I'll throw a party in celebration and just uh, good riddance to bad rubbish. If he drops a bomb on Geelong, then there's a good chance he takes out fucking the rest of Melbourne and possibly Tasmania and New South Wales and South Australia. A large portion of Australia. Yes, I, the be, the good part of Australia, every other part of shit. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah but, uh, what a oh, dangerous oh, oh, <laughs> All of a sudden, little meth lab here doesn't look so dangerous now, does it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> shit. Getting back to the questions, I think I've found one. If you could pick one current or just retired player to be a commentator, who would it be? And that was Smeghead. Um... You know, Lee Montagna was all right on Triple M. I'm just going to leave my tag now. Tom Doe. <laughs> because I can't pick Kimi Rikin in. He would just be brilliant. He'd be like, it's okay. How do you think they played today? We know how points. It's all right. Lose by 100 points. How do you think they played? It was bad. Then he gets pissed. It's Fuck a goal up. from about 65 metres out. Six points to the hits team. He kicks it. Well, it's okay, I guess. It's okay. <laughs> he keeps things simple. He keeps things warm. I, 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 I love me some Kimmy. Yeah. Oh, poor but Kimmy. In, all, in all seriousness, I would like to see uh, Simon Lethlin enter the uh, commentary <laughs> of our team. If, uh, <laughs> if only to get his thoughts on... Uh, you know, mar uh, marital arrangements in the workplace, just to give him a public forum on the TV where he can... Maybe he can call the AFLW guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's a fantastic role model. Are <laughs> there any other questions? Nah, they're all for Starbins and he's not here. Yeah. Fucking little shit. We'll move on to next week's games. Round 18. And Dan, we're going to do actual tipping this week. Your opinion counts. Oh, hooray. Uh, Adelaide versus Geelong. Uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, injured Patrick Dangerfield. If he can find time to not post on Big Footy and concentrate on <laughs> the game on Friday, um, he can steer his team to a, to a, to a victory. So I'm going to go with the Cats. Adelaide for me. Yeah, I'm feeling Adelaide just. I think it'll actually be quite comfortable. Yeah. I think they'll win by five goals. Penal, I'm going to go by your tips this week, so hit them. Um, well, uh, I'll try and get them right for you this week. So I'm going to tip Geelong just because Geelong <laughs> always seems to beat Adelaide. Right, we it's, have. It must be. It's a, the, the the danger field curse, I guess you could call it, perhaps. 
and we have Adelaide. No, shit, sorry. Essendon versus North at Etihad. We're in trouble. Uh, yes, we are in trouble, um, but I have an uneasy feeling that we're actually going to do all right and we might actually pinch the win in this game. Um, See, I'm feeling that as well. I've like Ben Brown possibly to kick six or something. But... If North if North has any rivals, it's it's Essendon, and they they'll, they'll find a way to get up in this game. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to tip North. I'm gonna, I'm, you got to tip some upsets because it's just it's tipping shit this year, and you end up having upsets every fucking week, and it's just I don't know. It's, just... it's how the season is. Everyone shit or average. Pretty much. The grill. Oh, sorry. I, yeah, no. I, Essendon for me. Ah, uh, yeah, Essendon. They play that ground really well. And then we have Melbourne versus Port at the MCG. Uh, Melbourne. Yeah. Is Melbourne a top eight side? Port. They are. Yes, they are. Just barely. But Penal said Port, so I have to go for Port. I I haven't. T- I said. Yet, but- Port. I said port. Yes. Who so. you tip penal? <laughs> port. All right. Then we have Gold Coast. No, Western Bulldogs versus Gold Coast. Stop in cans. Premiers need to sell their souls. What halls? Uh, I've given us too much. Gold Coast. I don't. I don't care about this game. Just pick a team. Yeah, I think the. the, uh, the... I don't. I don't think I can penal. Uh, Cookson. <laughs> I think the selling home games curse will strike again and Gold Coast to win. Their record in Cairns is, what, 100% must be. <laughs> Long may it remain so. <laughs> I think Richmond won one game there, but that's about it. Yeah, once. J- J- Jared Witts to play the uh, Carmichael Hunt role, hopefully. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, Gold Coast. Then we have Sydney versus St Kilda at the SCG for the 48% Pride Round game. <laughs> um, yeah, it sounds a bit gay. Um, it's going to be really gay. Yeah, and uh, St Kilda are going to get uh, milled because uh, oh, 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 the, oh. the Swans are just going to get in there and Take him up the bum with no lube. He's not wrong, so I'm going to go Sydney. I'm going to go Sydney. Yeah, I'm going to go Sydney too. Then we have Fremantle versus Hawthorne at Bubiaco. Hawks. Yeah, the, the the last time we'll ever play have to play at this fucking abortion of a stadium, and uh, I Correct. think we'll be uh, happy. Happy trip for us. We'll we'll all be seeing horses on Saturday night. Yeah, I still that too. <laughs> Hawth on the win. Yeah, Hawth, you need you need to keep fifty points and you'll you'll win. So I, it yeah. should be easy for you. Yeah, as long as we can get uh, six or seven goals, we're probably home. Yep. <laughs> then we have <laughs> Richmond versus Western Sydney at the MCG. Uh, Tigers. Yep, Tigers. The the Hardwick uh, um, factor has to come into play. He's a good coach. Um, I I, I kind of miss giving the little imp shit about Hardwick <laughs> being a good coach. Hopefully, he's back next week. Um, um yeah, go on, Penal. Yeah, I, I'm going to tip Richmond, but with extremely little faith, and only because GWS have about 19 players left that are fit. But is that like that's still always the proviso on tipping Richmond? Little faith. Yeah. Look, yeah. Norm, norm, normally you back their back their coach, their master coach Hardwick, but <laughs> I guess from the the last two weeks, I guess the players just aren't implementing his uh, superior game plan. No, uh, do you think? They, well, do they you think smashed Blake and, Carousella might be confusing matters? Yeah, I think Blake Carousello is just interfering with their system. And look, I think Richmond really need to let him go before the end of the year. Just sack him right now, or else they might struggle to uh, to make an impact in finals. I'm feeling Western Sydney as well. 
and, and sack, sack Neil Baum too. <laughs> he could just carry three jobs, Hardwick. He should. Yeah, he He's can, that good. He can be president, president, CEO, general manager of football, coach, and fucking big Ivan's injured. Just play himself in the ruck. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. And the other game, well, the other Sunday game is Collingwood versus West Coast. Uh, at the G? At uh, Eddie Had. At uh, Eddie Had, okay. I'm going to go um, West Coast. Yeah. 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 Agreed. Yeah, I'll go West Coast because they don't seem to fear Eddie Had that much for some reason. They have a good record akin to Adelaide Crows there. <laughs> and the last game of the round is one that really doesn't matter to humanity as a whole. Brisbane versus Carlton. The draw. I reckon Brisbane. Carlton, I guess. Bolton's boys are going to be happy. I'm feeling Brisbane. Yeah. But I don't really give a fuck about this game to really care about it, so... Who cares? Yeah, it's a crap game to, to end the, uh, the round on. But is it a 4.40 game? Yes, yeah, Sunday Twilight. That could set could. Uh, low crowd numbers too, couldn't it? Well, it's, it's in Brisbane, so, yeah. And they're not the Broncos. <laughs> no. Broncos do the piddly horsey thing. Okay. Well, I guess this was the flogcast for round 18. Hosting in places... This was a much better flogcast, a much smoother uh, flogcast, better than the ones we usually yep. have to deal Faster, with. Faster, we're actually going to... I'm actually going to be out of here by 10 o'clock, and yep. you guys are going to be done by 4 Oh, yeah, Jesus, so we did finish at 10. Oh, my God, that was quick. And it will be uploaded onto Bay 13 within 10 minutes. Honestly, I Very can't... efficient, very fast, very smooth. I can't actually think of any edits I need to do. Yeah, we 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 didn't uh, we didn't slip up and say anything inappropriate like uh, like anything involving Adam. Goods. Think of something. We didn't talk about child porn. Oh, hang on, we did. Oh, hang on. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's KP's fault. <laughs> child porn merchant. But still, this was a good forecast hosting instead of the little imp. Is Cookie joining me? Is Bay 13's very own awesome comedian in Dan? Um, oh, thank you, uh, Lord Moderator Cookson of Bay 13. <laughs> I bow down to your greatness. I enjoy you, Dan. You complete me <laughs> and all that bullshit. Oh. Okay, don't go too, don't go too far. <laughs> you start you start to sound like K4E now. Just back off a bit. <laughs> yeah, really warming up for that. Uh... That um, forty-eight percent round, aren't you? It's all that pride. Yeah, not for, not for me. <laughs> but also joining me <laughs> is Brain Power. Patrick Dangerfield is a cunt, and I want to cut big chunks of flesh out of his stupid <laughs> face and make his two-week-old son watch while I force him to eat his own face. <laughs> 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 Holy fuck! <laughs> and also joining us, who left earlier, was Morgs. Ding dong, the bitch is gone. Look at bitch. <laughs> Ding dong, the stupid bitch is gone. And joining us for the very I, first time. I'm, I'm, I'm just joking. You're, you're not a bitch, Morgan. Actually, you, you, you're. A, you're a nice person, I'm sure. I can't, I can't believe you made that comment about the the lists of girls. That was uh, very yeah. uncalled for. Yes, I know. I I, I, I put my <laughs> hand up for that. <laughs> but she, yeah. she is a bit of a bitch. Let's let's be honest. I mean, <laughs> And while also joining us for the very first time, and hopefully for many and more possibly, to come... Possibly the last time. I think <laughs> for many more to come is Le Grill. 
Thanks for having me, guys. It was an absolute pleasure. And, well, thank you for listening. See you on the forums and all that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs>